talking about how we won the game, why we won the game. And, you know, without having, you know, Will Bynum, it's tough because he's our shot maker. He's our, you know, he goes and gets the shots. He puts the guys in pick and roll. Uh, so the guys coming off the bench early, CJ Leslie, Sean, did a great job. And uh, Sean ended up playing most of the game. But uh, when they went small, we were able to take advantage of their team. You know, so that was a big part of the game, I thought. Why, why is it Will got hurt. Will got hurt a couple weeks ago. And um, we thought he was going to play last week, or if we knew he was going to be out for two weeks, we would have probably got some money from the pool. But um, hopefully he's going to be ready for Chicago. There was a, like a three, four or five minute stretch in there where you weren't landing them on the inside. Right. Right. And so what do you think? I mean, at the end that changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. What was that? Where did that shift come from? Well, we had a, we have what we call our six nine team, and we had that team in the game where they can switch everything. Pretty physical. Uh, I thought Josh played with, with foul trouble; he didn't get any more fouls. Um, I thought that was huge for us. But with Sean in the game, Josh and Sean can guard the five. They're big men, so that that helped us a lot because they switched off a bunch of times. Um, our team's new. We, we're young in the sense that there's still. The rules of the game are not necessarily second nature right now, um, but we're getting better. Hopefully, you know, it just looks locked in, you know. Even toward the end of the game, I don't know if you saw, where I sort of stepped out of character a little bit and didn't just yell at the guys about not making any fouls, because at that point in the game, if you foul, the only way you lose a 10-point lead at that point is if they get the ball back, you know, so. At that point, we let them. We didn't let them score, but we didn't foul two times in a row. We got the ball back. That that would that really helped us down the stretch. Coach, quick question. So when you lose Will Bynum, what was the game plan going into this game in particular against the Indians, and how do you kind of, I guess, formulate a plan yeah. without him? Because he he orchestrates a lot of your offense. Well, it's a different team with him because it spreads the four out. And it, then it allows everybody to play their individual games. But, you know, I told our guys that this is a must win for us, you know, and for us to stay in the hunt for the playoffs, because that's what it's all about. Anybody, you know, once you're in the playoffs, anything can happen. So with everybody in a, in, you know, a log jam with two wins, you know, only a couple of teams are going to get the third win. So that put us in that middle group. Right. So uh, th that's this, you know, when you go down like that, uh, when you're down two and it's that close, um, it becomes tough to catch up. So this is a huge win for us. I saw in practice yesterday you were talking to the guys about playing too much iso ball. Right. We're trying to incorporate some screens and some movement. Um, they kind of got stuck in that for a little while today, and which is how the aliens caught up. How are you going to, you know, moving forward, you're now 500, you're in the hunt. Right. How are you going to get over that so that you can get to the playoffs? Well, I mean, each day, each time we have a game, I watch the tape. I, I tell our guys to watch the tape. I pick out a few things and I, I email it all, the, 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 the uh, clips to them, so they can see what I'm thinking about for the week. But I don't know if they look at it or not. <laughs> um, but um, just for example, tonight, I was trying to get them to split. You know, we had the advantage with Josh in the post. But now we have to have some ball move, I and mean, we have to have some body movement on the outside, so the defense can't just suck into the middle. Um, I, it was about 50-50 when they, in terms of understanding what I was saying. But you know, it's a work in progress. Thank you. All right. Very cool. Well, let me, can I just ask you one yeah, question? Sure. Sort of about the nature of media and, and your history in both television and as a coach and, and, and radio. Um, and this leads out to the new. Yeah. And um, partnering up with CBS, there's all big strides. But where, you know, in your professional opinion, not just like as a media professional, where do you think, you know, where do you see this possibility in the next, you know, five years? Is the sky the limit? You know, listen, I, I tell everybody, <clears throat> it's Young Lee. Uh, Ice Cube had a phenomenal idea, and it looks to me as if it has legs. When you look at crowds that come out and the people that really enjoy it, uh, it's, oh, I think it's gonna be an Olympic event, so it's gonna get you know, international exposure. It's going to get bigger, and as the league grows, 
I could see some entity trying to get involved because this could be the, you know, the first step in getting to that Olympic team also. So, I mean, you know, and this is just me talking. I don't know anything about anything else, but I just see the, the league having a lot of legs and, and really people that seen it, people that talk about it really like it. And there's, you know, guys grow up playing three on three basketball. It's physical. You get exposed when you can't do something right. If you're a non-shooter, you get exposed. You gotta know how to, and, but what's nice about it, even if you're a non-shooter, a non-athletic, if you're smart, you can, you can figure it out. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of elements that I think are great about the league, and, 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 and they're always tweaking the, the things that have to happen. So um, again, it's, it's, it's a work in progress, but they've done a phenomenal job. For three years, I think this has been fantastic. How do we communicate that, though, like as, as broadcasters in this era? Well, I... Well, the, the, the only thing you can do is, is, is tell them. you got to talk. I mean, I, I talk about it all the time, you know, and I tell people all the time, this is, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I watched it, but didn't know what to expect. And the thing that I really am impressed with is that it's really a first-class organization. It's run really well. And even that's getting better, but Clyde Drexler, you know, uh, you know, Cube and those guys, all of his whole staff has done a great job, you know, um, in really making this something special. It has a, it has a ways to go, but it's, it's heading the right direction.